Hi, MicroPunter here, and I finally found a pretty useful uh, smartphone adapter for a microscope. And in this video, I want to unpack it and I want to show you how it works. Um, those uh, smartphone adapters allow you to connect uh, uh, smartphones, uh, mobile phones, uh, to your microscope so that you're able to take pictures and videos uh, through the eyepiece of a microscope. I ordered the smartphone adapter for the microscope from Amazon, and this is how it arrived. Um, I was very anxious to see um, what was in it and uh, there was a second box in it and this is how it looks like um, and it is for 28 millimeter diameter eyepieces um, and it features uh, a universal adapter which also works for iPhone and Android devices and so on. Um, I unpacked everything and uh, what I found in the box was an instruction manual in various languages and of course also the adapter itself. The first impression was a very good one. It was made both of metal and plastic. Um, the main uh, relevant parts were all made of metal. And uh, I'm just going to show you also later how to connect uh, the smartphone to this adapter. And uh, there were several movable parts and all of them can be fixed by tightening uh, this screw. And um, it is like this uh, that uh, the screw itself cannot be removed entirely so it's not, po it's not, not possible to lose any of the parts. Yeah, as I mentioned, uh, it's made of plastic and metal. There's also a little uh, mount there to connect the um, a tripod to. Yeah, and uh, this is basically how it works. You have to place uh, the part uh, for the eyepiece directly over the camera and then you tighten everything and uh, in this uh, uh, part here, this is where the eyepiece goes. Um, I'm just uh, going to show you how this works. I've got two eyepieces. One of them is a little bit thicker than the other. Uh, this one is uh, the left one has a uh, 28 uh, millimeters diameter, and um, that's uh, exactly the same size um, as the adapter. So it, fit, it fits right in there, and you simply tighten the screw, and it's totally tight and and fine. Yeah, and uh, when you uh, try to, of course, um, put in the smaller um, eyepiece, then it does not fit. And for this reason, there is a second adapter that is being sold for smaller eyepieces. So, for example, right now, even if you tighten it, it's uh, still loose. Um, so what you can do is you can wrap around some cardboard here to make it fit. And I'm going to show you later how to do this. Yeah, and I'm simply going measuring out now the inner diameter here. Um, it's uh, 28, a little bit more. So around 24 28 millimeter eyepieces you can see here and this one of course is the, the small eyepiece and you can see that there's there are two millimeters uh, yeah, off and the eyepiece here is exactly the same size so it fits uh, exactly into you know, the adapter okay now this is the smaller eyepiece um, and uh, there is of course uh, some play there that we want to remove and uh, we do that uh, by wrapping a little bit of cardboard around and for this reason I recommend maybe that you actually buy yourself the adapter for the 28 millimeter eyepieces because then you can also make smaller eyepieces fit by simply wrapping cardboard around it and it also works as you can see. Yeah, so in that sense, uh, this adapter is uh, quite universal. However, there are certain eyepieces that cannot fit at all. Um, and also this uh, eyepiece here is uh, from my stereo microscope. It's not able to go in all the way, but it has to go in actually all the way because for the correct eye relief. Yeah, and this one is the eyepiece from before and you can see that you can also adjust uh, the distance a little bit to adjust the correct eye relief and then you simply tighten everything. So um, now let's uh, see how it works. Uh, so I'm removing the um, eyepieces from a microscope and I'm putting in um, the adapter right now um, and uh, I'm switching on the mobile phone of course and then I uh, want to see how it actually looks like. It uh, can rotate around freely, can be an advantage or a disadvantage. Um, and now I need to do some fine adjustments right now and when the image is visible in the middle of the screen then you I tighten the screws and now I have to simply focus and now I see the specimen um, yeah, centered in the camera and uh, it's also like this that uh, it's possible to do a digital zoom by yeah simply by pinching a little bit in this way I get a full screen view I can slide out the mobile phone um, and I can slide it back in again um, and this is possible because you can see that the sides here are not 90 degrees but they are bent inwards a little bit so that the mobile phone is uh, held tightly by the adapter so it's not possible for the mobile phone to fall out too easily so you have to slide it in from the top yeah and 
Uh, what I actually recommend is, is that you set up everything with a spare eyepiece that you maybe buy yourself, okay? Um, and then you do not have to set it, uh, you only set it up once and then you simply um, you know, plug it in into the microscope whenever you want to use it. So a separate uh, eyepiece is actually quite useful. Yeah, there is a little bit of wiggle here that I noticed and I wanted to find out what the cause is, but it is not uh, the eyepiece and, and the adapter. That's not the, the fault of the adapter. As a matter of fact, it's the eyepiece itself that wiggles um, in the microscope. There's a little bit of, of play here. So I tried now the whole thing also on my low-cost microscope and you can see everything was set up and it imme immediately get a nice picture. So it's quite easy to start to take videos and pictures. You simply put it in, drop it in and then you can start an observation. I'm changing magnification now and I'm refocusing a little bit and you can see it works quite well. Yeah, and also when you move the slide, it's, uh, you can do actually live microscopy this way and you have, because you have a screen in front of your eyes, it might be a little bit more convenient sometimes as well. Yeah, by pinching and zooming, you can zoom in and out. Yeah, the slide is a little bit dirty, I just realized. Of course, the digital zoom kind of uh, loses a little bit of re resolution. And now I changed the eyepiece around and now you can see that uh, the image is not quite uh, uh, screen filling and it's a little bit blurry on the side. This is because the eye relief of the eyepiece is not correct. So I recommend that you look for an eyepiece with a correct eye relief um, and then one then you should get a good image. Yeah, as I mentioned, there are two types of um, adapters. Uh, this one is uh, the one I bought is for the 28 millimeter eyepieces and the uh, instructions are all very clear in several languages and uh, also free of mistakes. Uh, so they actually proofread it. It's not always the case that the uh, instructions are error free, but in this case, uh, the instructions were quite useful. Yeah, so let's have uh, a final look at the adapter here and the gray, the light gray part is all rubber. So this uh, also holds the mobile phone in place quite well. So that's it. Okay, uh, people, that's it. I uh, wish you a nice day. If you're interested in uh, this product, I included links below, affiliate links below. Um, I wish you all the best. Happy micro hunting as always and bye-bye.